Good evening, friends. How are you? I hope you are all doing well. My name is Atikur Rahman. I am an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. And today I'm going to show you how you can install MySQL on Amazon Linux 2023. As you might know that Amazon recently introduced a new uh, Linux based on Fedora. So uh, this the commands that we previously executed on Amazon Linux tool will not probably work. So we have to just tweak a bit. I created a uh, blog uh, into my website where I have specified what is uh, required to install MySQL on Amazon Linux 2023. So let's get started. First, let's launch a new instance. By default, uh, now you might have noticed that it's already pre-selected. So Amazon wants you to use this. Uh, unless you wanted to choose something different, then uh, this is your pre-selected instance type T2 micro, that's okay. I don't have any key pair, so let's keep it as it is because I don't need any key pairs. So basically what I do is I connect with, uh, I am, instance profile and then click launch instance and that's it it might take around one or two minutes based on your uh, region or uh, type so uh, let's have a cup of tea or coffee while this is being started now, meanwhile, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this RPM file. I'm going to install this RPM file, and then I'm going to run this DNF install command to install the MySQL community version. Once this is done, I need to uh, kind of like uh, update <clears throat> the etc.my.cnf file and add this skip grant tables part so that I can connect without any password. So. That's the thing. It is being loaded. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It's just one click of the button to subscribe. That's all I am asking for. Mm -hmm. It is loading. Okay, it's loaded. Let's go uh, to the SEO. I'm going to take root privilege and then I'm going to run it. So uh, then I'm going to maybe just copy these three comments all together and run it. You might need to put some yes. Yeah. Um, And it's almost there, almost there. Okay, that's done. So let's uh, start. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Well, it will take some time, don't worry. Then I'm going to check the version. So uh, this is the version. So it is 8.0, that's okay. Now, if I run this to do MySQL, you might uh, see that you will get access denied uh, by using root credentials with no password, that's okay. Now, <laughs> what we have to do is we need to modify this um, etc slash my dot cnf file I think that is the file path here as well uh, let's do this and here we just need to add something and that is skip grant tables so this is it this is the thing what what I have is Copy, is it, is it you can copy it properly? Well, 
Okay, that's it. Okay. So <clears throat> save the file. Restart the uh MySQL D system CTL. Restart MySQL D. Ah, I just made a typo. Pom, pom, pom. System CTL restart MySQL D and now I should be able to connect. Yeah, there it is. Show databases with new schema. I think so, hmm. Oh, that's not here. Sorry. Uh, don't just my SQL skills, of course. I rarely do write SQL commands. Nowadays, it's all done by the ORM, so my we my SQL workbench. So don't judge me on my SQL skills. So I created a new schema, then use the tick, uh, whatever's changed, then uh, show tables. Um, that's it, I think. That's it. That this is this is it. So you install MySQL, you are able to connect to that database, and <clears throat> you did some stuff over there. I hope this helps you to install MySQL eight on Amazon Linux twenty three, which is new. So I hope if you fall any issues, please let us know in the video comment section. I will try to help that as well as. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.